is our third day here camping. It is Tuesday. Um, we had a late start. We've only just gotten up about half an hour ago and it's currently 12 o'clock. So we all had a nice cozy sleep and a lie in and we're gonna make breakfast. So when I have a nice fry up, bacon, eggs, mushroom, all that sort of stuff. Good morning, my Good little morning. pumpkin pie. How was your sleep? Good. Good? Do you like the cereal? <laughs> Did you eat it all up? Yeah, so the boys have had cereal because they won't like most of the stuff that we're having. Do you like don't like eggs. Yeah, you don't like eggs, do you? No. Yeah, I, 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 do you like eggs? Yeah. Do you like bacon? Yeah. No. <laughs> yes, so Caleb won't like most of it. He'll just waste it. So we decided just to do it for the, us four. The two older ones and me and Sean. Um, it is lovely and sunny. A little bit windy, so I don't know if you guys can actually hear me. But it is really nice and sunny. A lot better than yesterday because we had quite a lot of rain yesterday. But we still had loads and loads of fun. So good morning, guys. And I hope you're having a lovely six weeks holiday. What are you doing down there? Tickle him! Are you okay there? I'm coming to get you. Tickle him! I'm gonna be the tickle man. Good morning, Dion. Good morning, Sean. How are you feeling? I'm feeling not well. Yeah, you don't feel well, do you, darling? How are we doing out here, boys? How's it looking? We're getting there. It's a little windy today. Camping's going great, guys. I'm having a really good time. We're going to eat sausages. It shouldn't take too long. And then I'm going to put the mushrooms in and the bacon in. Only brought the one store because, as you guys know, it's our second time camping. So we're not pros at this. We do need a side porch as well because if you've got a side porch, you can cook and not have the harassment of the wind or the rain, which we have learned the hard way, as you guys would have known from yesterday. So yeah, we're still learning, but we're getting there. breakfast that we're having guys sausages bacon mm. mushrooms egg beans we've done a great job Sean darling you're very welcome I'm just eating what's left in the pan can't save money you know <laughs> <laughs> camping for you guys how's it Sean nice really nice nice breakfast slash brunch mm -hmm. so now the children are currently sitting down at the table and they're doing some colouring in I bought these bags for them and they're just gonna draw their art on them so it'll be really fun to see what you've come up with. How are we getting on guys? Good. I'm making like a daisy chain. Okay. And then I've got a unicorn inside. Very nice. There's the end so far. Sean so far. What I'm doing guys, I'm going to make like three or two different sections. And this is just going to remind me of camp. And this is a beach that I think we're going to go explore on the last day. And then I'm going to do like a tent here, and then I'm going to do a circle like the swimming area here. Very good. And oh Caleb, God. let's have a look at yours. Uh, wow. Uh, oh. Very good. It's currently in the soft play area. This is the soft play here. They've got some games over here, football game as well. Looks like I've got a little 
smaller ball pit for like the little one. So this is the ball pit. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Sick thumbnail. Hi guys. <laughs> It'll be a really good thumbnail with us. Bad reviews. That is not remind me of it. Right, we're gonna have another game. Yeah, another game. So we're currently in the actual shop. It's just a small shop that we've got. We've taken Sean in here to spend his money. He's got a pound from left off from last night. So we're just gonna have a look for some sweets and stuff for him. Yeah, all like your swimming kit and that there for the swimming pool. Goggles, things like that. Have you found anything that you want, Sean? So we've just finished up at the shop, I think I'll just give you guys a quick pan of the actual outside sitting area. What the outside sitting area looks like lots of tables lots of chairs lots of places to sit to have your beers and whatnot food and things shop quite reasonably priced as well not bad for prices currently giving the kids a go of their favorite thing every time we go to fight at school as well, they always want to jump in one of these things i don't know why it is why kids love them so much but logan and caleb always love going on these things the kids are just kicking back over there playing on that um Little chat with you guys about the shop. Put your guys there. Shop, put your guys, put your guys there. I think, yeah. There. Then. So, one of the things I've noticed about the shop, and it would take me to notice it, they don't sell alcohol in the shop. Like, there's no alcohol for the men. So, the only place you're gonna get alcohol from is the bar. Or you're gonna have to drive like 15 miles away, which takes about 10 to 20 minutes to drive out. So, Strange how they don't sell alcohol at the, at the um, actual shop. They should sell alcohol at the shop, but that's my opinion, but for some reason they don't. One of those things. But I thought I'd just point that out because that's an, a very important thing for men. Very important thing for men. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go to the park now. Take you guys down to the outside park that they've got. Um, we might take you guys to the walk down to the beach as well and show you guys what is down there. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. I'm just going to finish up here for the kids. So currently in the park we've got a um, table tennis here, they've got a big net, climb, they've got a tyre over there, slide, a little mini tyre, a bit more of a bigger slide over there.
We kind of just like staying for the children's entertainment park. Okay guys, so currently the last and final night is the third night tonight and we are leaving after today on literally our last night at the entertainment area. Kids over there, dancing, doing the rock, doing the cha-cha. What's not feel too well so he's not really into dancing today. Just like swollen, it's like a frog in it. Okay, guys, so we're currently in our kids now. We've left the dance karaoke um, party. Would you like to be on the um, channel? Was it Mia? Hi. And this is my cousin Mia. How long is this 
stay for long or uh, we leave tomorrow. So we get on last night. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. So guys, we have just met some people who were interested when we set up the club ads. We said that they're going to subscribe. So we just want to say a big thank you guys for subscribing to our channel. We hope that you're having a fantastic holiday. Um, this is our last night, so we're going away tonight. But enjoy the rest of your holiday. Hey look, what have you found? The Sonic game. Ready? Go. get holiday blues i did a haggis and castle if you guys haven't already seen a video it's another holiday park a little bit like this and um, we went there last year and i got actually got holiday blues where i actually started getting a bit upset i actually showed it in the video as well yeah dion gets that a lot don't you dion i get a lot of holiday blues she gets really upset when we have to leave and to be honest i am a little bit upset as well that what this is our last night but yeah we'll, we'll definitely be coming it's back so guys no you can go either way can't you can we go this way yeah but yeah guys we will definitely be coming back because we really did enjoy ourselves and the fact that they actually have camping here as well is just brilliant and there's no difference really between the lodges and the, 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 the caravans and the camping i think it's all just the same right in my opinion if so, you're coming out in the middle of summer you best have to stay out in the tent it's been a bit of a bad weekend for us but it's turned out to be quite well at the end of the weekend weather wise weather wise that is um, but if you're looking for it, just come out and just, you know, just, I just go camping. I would prefer to go camping than stay in the caravan. Yeah. So I will leave a link in the description to this place, guys, okay? But first of all, I just want to quickly show you the place. So you have a little walk down from the camp or the caravan site, and then you come to this building here, which is the reception. You have the reception here. You walk through the reception to go to the evening entertainment. You can walk this way. Sorry guys, you can walk this way for restaurants, the pool, entertainment. This only opens up a little bit later on. Okay guys, the camping trip is officially over. Everybody's feeling sad. Everybody always feels down at the last day when they have to leave their holidays. So it's been a really nice holiday slash vacation for us. Um, taking the children away from the city, out into the countryside, and just getting the good fresh air into your lungs and just enjoying life in general. So everything's packed up. We've got everything there. Just sitting out, Stephanie, just with the last lazy bed away. <laughs> Let's go and see how the children are feeling. Hello. Hello. How are you guys feeling about leaving? Feeling mm. sad. Are you getting holiday blues? How are you feeling, Logan, son? Leaving? Mm. Alright, there's Logan there. Oh, yeah, I can see him. Yeah, how are you feeling? Sad. Sad. Come back another time, won't we? Yeah. Let's see how Caleb's feeling. How are you feeling, Caleb? Oh, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. What? I oh, actually got a bad belly. It's that bad, is it? Close the door. Okay. <laughs> so I've got my drone equipment up here. I'm going to give it one last flight today. As yesterday's flight didn't go very well because it was so windy that. I put my drone up like straight up above me and it ended up over there and I didn't touch any controls of course it's just rising it up but the wind was like nearly pulling it out to sea so I nearly lost my drone last night fortunately enough I didn't um, gonna put the tent down yeah I'm feeling the holiday blues I'm feeling a little bit like you know the last day of feeling I had that at Hagson Castle and I'm having it again today but never mind we'll come back and we'll do it all over again 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us camping on, on Solway camping site um, slash holiday park. Holiday village. Holiday village is a holiday village. It's been really nice for us as a family second time camping, apart from the rain, apart from the wind. But today, typical. <laughs> Turns out to be sunny on the last day when you're ready to leave. Yeah. So I'm going to put this camera down, give Stephanie a hand, help her out, get the tent put in the car. So we've just gotten the tent taken down now. I think nicely and neatly packed. This is how we put our ropes and we always tie them back up for some reason every time. So we've been camping in the Euro Hike Balfile 600. Um, and it's a six mana or eight mana, Stephanie? Six to eight mana. Um, pretty good tent in general for using it a second time. Uh, that's the size of it there. It is pretty big. Six. Six man tent. Pretty good. So we're going to wrap this up, put it in the car, and we'll see you in just a bit. thumbs up and we'll catch you guys in tomorrow's vlog which will be another good video so we are the Batista vlogs we vlog our lives which basically means we document our lives on YouTube and we post it nearly every single day we didn't actually end it last night so we're gonna end it now guys we hope you enjoyed our holiday vlogs the past three days spending them camping with us and if you're new around here subscribe that way you'll know when we upload, you will get, might get a notification, but also put the notification bell on. So we will see you tomorrow. Mwah.